What's up, Taurus? All right, so look, we are going to be jumping into your money vibes. Money, 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 money vibes. Take in this good energy. We are swiping the slate clean. I said swiping. We wiping the slate clean when it comes to whatever you thought about money. Okay, I feel like for some of you guys, that's what you need. You need a refresher. You need to start over with everything that you thought. Okay, um, for you, when I was getting into your energy, um, there was a phrase that came up. It was like, when the underdog becomes the champion. Okay, even if you felt like you were last or like you weren't um, keeping up with everyone around you, or maybe, ooh, look at that, leadership. That's what some of y'all are being called to. It's like you're uh, the least likely. Maybe you're like the least likely uh, in your area or around you. But something about the underdog becoming the champion. And to me, it's all due to the fact that uh, because you're like an earth sign, it seems as though like maybe some people look at you as practical. Like you do the right thing. You got the earth thing going on. But your alien vibes, if that makes sense, to me, that's like your life purpose vibes. All of the reasons you were born, everything that you were you brought here to do, it's like you're about to start doing it if you're not already doing it. And if you're already doing it, it seems as though there may have been this uh, this talk or this chatter or this noise that I was hearing about people not believing in you or people saying you know that you were going to fail or what you had is not going to be long lasting. But I'm here to tell you otherwise. Um, for whatever people may have felt was going to fall apart in your life or it's not going to work out in the long run or make fun of you for it seems as though that thing is going to be magnified in their face times 10 when the underdog becomes the champion and that's your message okay so we're going to jump into the money vibes and I don't care what nobody say I don't know let nobody tell you nothing about oh you should be focused on money oh you money hungry you good if they say you money hungry say because they're getting this good baby and it's enough for everybody if you believe so we are going to be jumping to the life purpose oracle deck to see you know three different vibes you know what uh support you may have in the spiritual realm and then i want to use these oracle cards to see what blockages you may have or what advantages you guys may have at this time um some of you guys you deny your greatness and that can prevent you from manifesting the type of money you deserve. Because, see, if you was walking in that greatness, you know, uh, all that money and stuff is going to follow. But the confidence, I'm feeling like that's going across the board with a lot of signs. People's confidence is directly connected to that pay, to that money, to new sources of income. So we're going to be looking to see what else you got. All right. Now, let's see. Sensitivity. Who's that Capricorn? Uh-oh, Earth signs. I told, hey, listen, the Earth signs, y'all getting more and more sensitive now. Y'all becoming like water, baby. Y'all starting to feel that power of discernment is coming on in, and you can feel the vibes. And some of you all are feeling and understanding that in order to manifest certain things, you have to be on that vibration. You guys are becoming more and more sensitive to which vibrations you're on. A lot of you guys were on the love vibration. A lot of you guys were on the, you know, some people were on the lack or the poverty vibration. Now it's like, oh, let's slip on up here to that wealth vibration. Since I'm so sensitive and since I can attract, if I can sit over here and I can imagine somebody doing me wrong and then somebody doing me wrong, why don't I go over here and imagine somebody writing me a fat check and manifest somebody writing me a fat check? Okay, but anyway, some of y'all just need to know that you're becoming more sensitive. All right, you're becoming more sensitive and you need to make changes accordingly. Okay, act accordingly. Also, what I got for you all was um, caution, envy is near, caution, envy is near. So, for some of you guys, you, you know, or you feel, and if you feel like I don't have none. Why anybody be jealous of me? It's because of your gifts. People can see too. They know too. Or maybe they had a dream about you. They can see something. But be careful. Um, this woman here has crystals. You guys need to use protection. Some people could be wishing uh, uh, like destruction, but I'm not seeing it like destruction. I'm seeing it like, like even directly connected to your finances. You got people who wish you broke. Who wish you brokenness. Okay? They don't want you to get ahead of them. You got to watch out for that, okay? Especially if they see you as the underdog and you become the champion. All right, let's see what else you get. Time to decide. For some of you guys, I was telling Aquarius, 
The time is now. Okay? You've been thinking about that dream. You've been having that dream for a long time. It's scary. It's wild. It's unimaginable. People around you going to make fun of you, tell you you can't do it. It doesn't matter. The time is now. It says make a decision based on your heart's truest desires. Some of you guys know exactly what you should do. But you just like, hey, I ain't going to do it. I've heard people sit around and say, like, I know I can do that. And I'm supposed to be doing that. That's supposed to be me. Then go, what do you do? Why? Are, what? Like, literally, go do that. Go be that. Okay? But anyway, your finances are connected to this. I feel like for some of you guys, um, spirit is saying to you, I got it. I'm going to give it to you. But you got to do something for me first. What did I send you to earth to do? Okay, cool. Go start doing that, and I'm going to start tossing bread. Go and make it do what it do, and I'm going to go and make it rain. For some of you all, literally, you know, I ain't trying to be, you know, I ain't trying to take it there, but like you at a club, somebody's shaking, and somebody tossing down them dollars. Why? Because you're doing your job. She's shaking and twerking. That's what she's supposed to do. If she went out there and just stood still and looked around the room, ain't nobody going to toss no bread. So the universe is saying the same thing to you. Going out there and shake something right fast. So I can toss you whatever. But some of y'all just standing there looking around the room like, uh-oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So go ahead and make a shake, okay? So we can start tossing them dollars. Now, let's see what else you get. Flowers. You know, I was just in, where was I, Walmart? And they, they're setting out the whole, like, spring collections. All these different type of plants and um, big ones and tall ones and these kinds and that kinds and whatever. Like, and I was going to grab one, but I was already leaving at the store and I already paid for my purchase. So, I couldn't grab one. And I'm like, I'm going to get one next time I go in. And that's important. Because for some of you guys, it's going to take, I'm feeling like breathing, like something about like your deep breathing techniques in the air around like your home is going to really freshen it up. And um, you guys are going to be able to, I guess, I don't know, get into a meditative state. You're going to bring more life into your home. And also the green in the plant is going to represent a lot of heart chakra healing as well as financial healing. What color is my name? So bring more of this color into your environment, okay? But this is working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose, okay? For some of you guys, that's very direct. You work with plants. You work with flowers. For some of you guys, you need to spruce up your home with plants and with flowers. And for others of you guys, you need to go out in nature and be around more plants, green, vegetation, and flowers, okay? Or agriculture. Vegetation is like food, right? But let's see what's your blockages. What are your advantages at this time? Balance. Capricorn got this exact same card in the exact same position. So some of you guys have to learn how to balance. For you, I'm getting the number 11, your spirituality and practicality, okay? Um, for some of you all, as far as manifesting money, the only difference between you and millionaires is what vibration you're on, okay? For some of you all, it's going to be that balance, okay? Um, and it's um, judgment too. Like, don't look anybody at anybody who has money, and be like, well, they shouldn't have it because they, they owe me. And look at that millionaire over there. They should have did this and that with their money. And they should have did that. And they should have built a, a rec center in the community. And he's so rich. Why he ain't get this? And why he ain't do that? What did they do for the black community? What did they do for our community? Don't do that. Okay? Um, you are... And I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings, okay? But I'm just telling you what I see. It's like your hand in somebody else's bag. And you don't even have a bag in your own. Like, take your hand off of other people's bag. Worried about what somebody else should deal with their millions. And you still trying to create yours. You see what I'm saying? I don't know who that's for. And I'm not trying to hurt no feelings. But sometimes you got to know for real, for real, what it is that's blocking you. Okay? And this is talking about uh, bringing a state of perfect harmony into the world. Doing so without judgment. Okay? You never know what another person is doing with their money. Okay? And most people who are financially successful don't just let their money lay around and, and do uh, balling and tricking off like you see in music videos or in like the rap or the music community. It's not really like that when you're really, really wealthy, okay? Your money is going into places, investments, and properties. And blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? You listen to Robert Kiyosaki. He said, we cash strapped. You give yourself a thousand dollars for the month to live off of while all your other money is in investments. Okay, I don't know who that's from. I'm going off on the tangent, but listen, here we go. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So um, winning and failing. Um, for some of you guys, you say, well, I pursued my life purpose before and I didn't get no money. I went out there and I sang my song and they booed me. They told me I, I was terrible. Or, you know, I tried to go over here and do that, but it didn't work out. 
okay? But you don't understand, for some of you all, that was your training. You ever went to a job and before they paid you your full amount, they took you through training and you got training pay? For some of you guys, what you went through and failed at, you got your training pay, okay? You had to go through training. And now it's time to go to the next level where you're going to get that big check. For some of you guys, you need to know that that adversity or whatever it was you came through or the challenges you overcame and made it to this side, now you're about to get the real check. Now it's the real deal, okay? The people who you really need to respect you are really going to rock with you now, okay? It's a whole new ball game. But for some of you all, you just need to know that whatever it was that you failed at, it doesn't mean that it was failure forever. It was just for that time. So you can learn something. Now you learn that real quick. Move on to the next level. Let's see what else. Worry. All right. For some of you guys, you you worry too much. This is connected with flowers. Some of you guys need to change your scenery I'm seeing. Feng shui. Again, live plants in the home. All of that kind of stuff may help to relieve worry and anxiety and things like that. Um, some of you guys are worried about your future. We're worried about your money. You worry. Some of you guys may have to live paycheck to paycheck. You're worried that you'll never have it. You're worried that something else is going to break down. You're worried that the worst thing is going to happen. Okay. And this simply says, I am learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. Since I have to use my brain to think anyway, I might as well think of like the good things. Even if it's, you know, you just try it for 21 days. Instead of worrying about the problems, um, worry about or just clap and say, wow, I'm glad that things are going to work themselves out. Okay, switching your mindset. But a lot of you guys, your finances, your money, your wealth is directly connected to the fact that you worry too much. Okay. So let's see what we got. We're going to go to a spread. Some of you guys need to, because see, if you worry, that's not showing faith. Faith goes a lot further than worry, okay? Demonstrate your faith more by having um, better thoughts or by saying, thank you, God, because even though I could be afraid or I could be scared or this could go wrong and that could go wrong, I thank you for working it out regardless of which way it go. Because some way, somehow, it's going to be worked out. Like, you have to switch. You have to switch. Okay, let's see. I just heard worry wart. Some of y'all work professional. Okay, spirit. Ooh, I'm not trying to hurt my feelings, but I just heard some of y'all are professional worry warts. Worry warts. And spirit said to you, it's some stuff I can't even get to you because you too worry. Like, who? You know, sorry. But anyway, look, this is what's currently happening. This is what's going on behind the scenes that you may or may not be aware of. This is what's going on at your advantage, okay? This is what's working for you. This is going to be a block. It's something you got to work through. This is going to be your final advice or the outcome moving forward, okay? So what's the current money vibe? Ooh, the lovers. Your money may be intertwined with a lover. So for some of you guys, you may have a mate, a husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, whoever, okay? The lovers is generally a good energy. However, if you put your... Like some people, they put all of their focus into their relationship, right? So all of your time, your energy, your effort, and your thought space goes into relationships, right? But in order to manifest money, you got to keep your mind on your money and your money on your mind. Some of y'all put your whole 100% mind into relationships. And this balance card is telling you, hey, Let's use some of this brain space for love and relationships. But right now for this season, let's use a different percentage for the money. We got to find a balance, okay? Uh, I'm pretty sure these celebrities who are rich and famous love their husbands. They love their wives. But it don't stop them from getting the bag. I, don't, I can't recall too many celebrities who stopped getting the bag because they broke up with their mate. In fact, some people work harder when they break up with their mate. But some of you all, you just need to know that, yes, the love vibe is very beautiful. But if you don't balance it out with the money vibe, all you're going to attract is the love. But where's my money? Okay? Balance, balance, balance. What, what's going on behind the scenes that you may or may not be aware of? Ooh, the magician. This is working one of two ways. Hold up. Mm. Wow. See, I got excited real quick, but it split the energy. So we got two groups of y'all. The first group of y'all, time to decide, adversities and challenges. Now you understand that you got the power, right? You are the magician. 
you know that whatever it is that you think, okay, or if you follow this life purpose, the universe got you, right? And you're going to make this thing happen. But then there's a split energy. Remember I was saying um, caution, like somebody's jealous, envy is around. This is somebody uh, manipulating, working you through like magic, okay? Um, doubting you, saying negative things to you when they see that you're on the right path or they see that you're about to take off or they see you the underdog, but some way, somehow with something a little bit extra special about you. So let me work my magic so that you can go blind to your own gifts. So that you can't see, you know, what it is that I see. So I can bring you down so you can stay here with me. Some of you guys got people around like that that need to be eliminated. Let's see what it is that's your advantage. Ah, the Ten of Cups. Family. Support. See, this falls on top of the worry. This here is saying that you have support. Okay? For some of you guys, even if your support comes from your family or your close friends, or people who you build up these relationships with. I feel like the biggest thing for some of you all that you may not even recognize or see at this time is that even if people don't believe in your gift or your skill or your talent, um, you do have other supporters. For some of you guys, you may have supporters that you never even met before. Or you may have supporters that look at you from afar and don't necessarily tell you that they will support you if you go out and do this thing. You'd be surprised when you take a leap of faith who will support you. You'd be surprised who won't support you too. But you'd really be surprised that who come out the woodwork and be like, yo, I see you. You know, now before you was doing this thing, they didn't care. They weren't going to say nothing to you. But they see you doing your thing and then, wait, I like what you're doing now. But some of you all, um, you're going to be called, like your advantage is your family um, that drives you. Some of you guys need to use that to your advantage. A home, uh, for some of you guys, you may live at home and you don't have to pay like rent and all that kind of stuff. So that, you know. Now that page of swords, they tried to come over. I'm, I got the card laying here and it's so weird that I would just start shuffling because that page of swords jumped out. And again, I'm getting that caution. There's envy. Somebody may be envious of like your home or your support structure or your team, your squad or whatever it is that you do. It seems as though there will be people to back you. Some of you guys have public platforms and you will get support or like a home team from people that, you know, don't even know. OK, but I was saying that danger and I started shuffling, you know, and that page of swords jumped out. But somebody's watching every now and again. Somebody will come in and check on you and see what you're doing. And that may be where I'm feeling this magic come from. Because I don't want anybody's money to be stopped up uh, because of someone else's, you know, doing. But you may need to be aware of that. Again, sensitivity. You're sensitive. You're, you're absorbing things. Be careful who you got around you. Let's see what you have going on um, as your disadvantages or something you got to work through with your money. Ah, the five of cups. Some of y'all money is directly affected because you in your feelings. Okay, I think it was Aquarius. I got loneliness for them. And with you all, it's kind of the same thing. It's like some of you guys are, uh, you focus on like love or the lack thereof. A lot of people are on the relationship vibe. If you want money to come in, you have to get on the wealth vibe. And I know some people be like, I'm tired of thinking about money. I don't want to think about money all the time. It's not fun. Some people are addicted to like maybe drama and thinking about scenarios in their head where they get their feelings hurt over and over. Or what is our fight going to be like? And then you imagine y'all having a fight and then you imagine y'all getting back together. Okay. That means you're on like the relationship vibe. Okay. For some of you all, if you're totally single, have no one in sight, you fantasize about love, you fantasize about your wedding, you fantasize about this and that. But my thing is, how you going to pay for that big old wedding? Unless you put your mind on your money and your money on your mind. There is a balance. You can think about love, you can think about romance and all that too, but you dang sure better think about your bag. And not crying over the stuff that you once used to have. So anyway, some of y'all money has been directly affected because you're too much in your feelings. Or there are other people who are around you who are criers, complainers. Um, they, they're blood suckers, they're parasites, their energy brings you down because they're always a victim. It's always something to be sad. It's always something to be sad about and cry over. But it's also always something to be thankful for. So where's your mind going to be? It seems as though either you or people around you have this mindset. 
And you have to find a balance. Even if these are like coworkers or friends or family members or whoever, maybe daddy, maybe mamas, you got to find a balance on how that energy can be there, right? But then there's a balance where it don't affect me or phase me like that, right? I don't absorb it with my sensitive vibration. Final advice or outcome moving forward. Ah, the world. I just heard, are you ready to travel? For some of you guys, your money is going to enhance because you're going to either travel the world or you're going to start looking at like products or companies that are in other countries. Okay. Some of you guys may do something internationally or your dream is to go like study abroad or do something international to take a specific trip. I'm seeing someone take a trip like an eat, pray, love, or you go to like some sacred city or something and it changes you. It shifts you out of, uh, I just heard people pleasing. It shifts you out of uh, like fear, if that's what holds you back, but it changes you. And a lot of you guys just need to know you're coming to an end of a bad, I won't say a bad money cycle. It don't have to be a bad money cycle, but just one type of money cycle. For example, if I said you was moving out of this tax bracket and you was going to the next tax bracket, you know what I mean? Um, if you're ending one job and then you're gonna get something else that's a lot more suited for you, but with also a lot more money for you. Um, you're going from this neighborhood or location to one that's a little bit, I just heard ritzy. So some of you guys are going to be doing something ritzy or you're going to get something ritzy. But you know what's going back to what we said from the underdog to the champion. We have the magician, which is the number one, and we have the world card, 21, which is the end. So one and end. Now, usually the full card is the zero, but it seems as though you're going in with a plan already. So you're not just taking a leap of faith. Some of you guys, adversity, you've done this before. Okay, these were challenges that you overcame. So now you're ready to go back in with your magic wand and make it do what it do, and it looks like you will. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you just need to... Um, you need to pursue it or you need to know if like if you knew at the end of the finish line you would pursue and you know if you if you wrote that song or you made that album or you got on that stage player or you did whatever if you knew it was going to end with the world card like yes you did it then would you do it okay i want to wrap up with a vintage wisdom oracle card but this uh this world card is still saying something oh uh uh from from the underdog to the champion it's like it goes the full course one two three four five for some of you all your steps are ordered and this is what's the, the end result okay but a lot of this stuff you're looking for your money you're looking where's my money where's the bag it's connecting remember what you do spiritually is what you're going to manifest we clean up a lot of this energy in the spirit realm and, and the world life has no choice but to follow but let's pull a vintage wisdom oracle card Ooh. Y'all get three of them. Y'all must be special. Okay. Spirit really, really, really wants to talk to you. Okay. Surrender. Let go. Do things in my divine time and I'll shine down on you this divine will. Some of you guys just really got to let go and let God. Um, surrender your worry, especially. Some of y'all worried about your home, worried about, you know, will I ever have a home? Will I ever do this and this and that? Surrender your worry. Let it go. And listen, I can't do nothing to change the outcome. I might as well hope for the best. Okay, truth. Ooh, some of y'all just need to face the truth. Some people who need to go, gotta go. The truth is, some of y'all are in your feelings. And you need to get about your feelings and get in your bag. You need to change from their relationship all the time. And where's my love and the imagining scenarios and getting your feelings hurt and them making up and breaking up and making up and breaking up. Stop going through all of that and put your mind on your money and your money on your mind. Okay? Some of y'all spend too much time or want to be up your lover's butt. And you need to focus on um, your wealth. If you ask, and I just heard you have a hobby. Like some of y'all need to get a hobby. Uh, if you, Especially if you deal with a lover who has a hobby. Even if their hobby is playing a video game. It's like you need to go find a hobby as well. Okay. It's just that some of y'all don't, don't get all hurt. This one. Okay. Where's the last one? Thoughts. Good. Some of y'all need to sit down and give it some thoughts. Some of y'all need to pull out an old-fashioned pen and paper. Write down your feelings. And then cross them off. Like, okay, I'm done feeling that. Okay, let me go ahead and write some other stuff. So um, this also talking about your thoughts of love, your thoughts of, again, remember I was telling you about scenarios in your head or going over the worst case scenario or things that didn't even happen yet, you going over that in your mind. They want you to change your thoughts. Don't think about that kind of stuff. Think about yourself on a vacation. 
Think about yourself on the, um, I don't know, on the beach in Brazil or something. Think about your song being on an international number one list. Okay? Think about that. They want you to change your thoughts. They want you to change um, the people who are around you. Your th some of y'all thoughts are blocking your manifestation because you won't tell yourself the truth. Some of y'all really that great. Okay? I don't care. Tell yourself you really that great. Hey, I had that vision of myself. Uh, the Spirit told me. God told me I was the man. I was the woman. God told me what I was going to be in the end. But then some of y'all be like, nah, that's not true. But you know what I just heard? We'll make it true then. Okay? So a lot of y'all money is really connected to how y'all are thinking right now and how you're feeling. Your thoughts and your feelings are, are what's blocking your money. You change your thoughts and you stop focusing on the negative feelings and all the bad feelings, then you're going to change your finances, okay? Change your feelings, change your finances. One more time, say it with me. Change your feelings, change your finances. You dig? So that is what I get for you. Thank you guys so much for all your likes, your subscribes, your shares. I appreciate you all so much. And if you guys are not one of my subscribers, I would love to have you as one. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you guys can also follow me on Instagram at Waterstar Vibes. Okay. So that's what I get for you once again. Thank you all. I appreciate you and I'll see you in your next video.